Okay, my people, um, I greet you all. I trust you all doing well. Wherever you are, I salute you and thank you so much for being part of this family. Um, yes, don't mind my face. I'm not too well. I'm just recovering. Um, for the past days, I've not been feeling well, so I'm on medication trying to take care of myself, trying the local way, you know, and then that means to just get well. So thank you to everyone who checked up with me. But today I'm here to talk to my people, yes. Um, I'm here to talk to anyone who call himself an African. I'm here to talk to anyone who has a black skin. I was just there and my mind was going on certain things and I started thinking and I, I started asking myself so many questions. You know, in Africa, I asked myself, what, what is going on in Africa? Why so much going on in Africa? And there are a lot of things happening that it's beyond my imagination and understanding. I don't know. I'm still young. You know, I'm still young. Um, I don't know what really actually happens. You know, uh, <clears throat> our senior citizens and elderly men may know more than us. We will learn all these things that we know now from books, history, from uh, videos and stuff. So we don't really know exactly what went on. We didn't even witness any of them. So sometimes when we are there, it's, the, 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 the feeling is different from people who were there, who witnessed as compared to us that the next generation who came to hear um, or get to know of what happened in those days. Now, the question that I ask is, Africa, 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 Africa has gotten a big name, you know. The continent is so blessed. The continent is... Uh, blessed with resources we have everything like f just name it but you know what what is worrying me i keep asking myself and comparing africa to other places and i'm like wh why if things are working for people there why is it not working for africa look at africa how many states do we have 53 or 52 or whatever right but we have different countries we have different countries with different presidents just look at it. America is having 52 or 53, the same states, but they have only one president and a vice president. But here in Africa, for ages, Kwame Nkrumah has tried to push to this one agenda where the continent will come together, maybe also called the United States of Africa with one president. It wasn't easy. It, it, it didn't come on. Someone with such a big head, big knowledge no he couldn't do it who would who would be able to do it now if Nkrumah couldn't do it does it look like the people coming will be able to do it is it that that there's a messiah coming that will rescue Africa and make us get there good now let me go to the another point we almost have I don't know I stand to be corrected but how many currencies do we have in Africa it's over 33 currency or whatever. If you know, please let me know. Educate me. I'm ready to learn. I don't know. And we can't trade this currency within ourselves as Africans. If you cross another border, you have to use another money. But look at the US. All these 53 or 52 uh, states, all these states use dollar. And it's working. Go to other places. Look at Russia see how they've mobilized themselves see how it's working look at china you see i don't know and do you know the funny thing upon all these currencies that we have here in all the african countries yes still we trade in another foreign currency not even in our own currency for example let's come to ghana we use cd Gone are the days we were using pounds when we were being ruled by the British. And when they left, it, we were still using um, pounds till Kwame Nkrumah came and then time, school, uh, time went on and then they changed to the CD. Now, when you come to Ghana, goods services are being priced in dollars. Meanwhile, we spend, meanwhile, our currency is CDs. Meanwhile, our currency is CDs. Just look at it. 
you go to some schools they charge you in dollars properties uh, properties here are being sold in dollars lands just name it transactions everything in dollars so why are we not promoting why are we not using our currency gone are the days some few years back i remember the government came out to say that um no one should price anything in dollars or purchase anything in dollars but where are the authorities to enforce the law that is the question that i always ask myself but yes still people are using dollars i don't know within a week i had um i don't know someone was discussing with me that <clears throat> some country has um have banned all foreign currency in their country unless they use their own currency and i was like yes that is a good thing but what what is happening in africa what is happening in africa that we can't use our own money we have borders when you cross you have to change to another city can't it, I'll, See, they said there is a currency that is coming that will be used in West Africa. We are still waiting for this currency. We are still waiting for this ECOWAS money. What's the name? I've forgotten even the name, crap. We are still waiting for it and it's still there. So sometimes I keep asking myself, so what is happening in Africa? Is Africa going to be the same forever? Are things going to change? Because it's like, from from ages you you don't see any change changes among african countries development are low things are not happening well and i i can't cry, cry, cry. you know issues like this eh it really touched my heart and i asked myself why are other people doing are doing it and we can't do it why are there forces that are playing behind the background that we don't see are there bigger forces that it's beyond our leaders' control that they can make something good use for uh, good something good in this country or in the continent for their people? What is happening, guys? I'm really confused and I'm really speaking from my heart because sometimes I I just don't get it. And people are leaving the country. People are leaving the continent. Uh, come on there are people out there who don't associate themselves to be africans anymore there are people out there who are not willing to come back to africa anymore they prefer to die there why should it happen that way it is, is it not heartbreaking why should it happen that way why should people feel so uh, uh, have so, the boldness to neglect their roots and not want to associate to themselves with their roots what is happening it's a wake-up call that we need our leaders really need to wake up it's this it's i don't know maybe someone it might not concern you or you you don't care but if we think about the next generation then we have to wake up and do things right now for people we have to do the right thing now so that the next generation that are coming who will benefit from it. Look at America. How their forefathers see things that they went, the goals they came, people see all these colonial masters, all the things that they, they took people, our uh, things, our uh, resources, and make good use of it. And now their generation after generation after generation are enjoying. It's good for them. Things are working in their countries. But what about us? What is happening here? See, just recently, look. There was a coup in Burkina Faso. There has been another subsequent coup in other uh, African countries. There are chaos in everywhere. There are problems in everywhere, conflicts. And it's like we Africans ourselves don't see ourselves as, as one people. So what is happening to our mind? What are we feeding on? What information are we getting it's like I have a lot of questions that I ask on I ask on my mind. I have a lot of questions to ask, and today I decided to come here to talk to you, my people, because I know a lot of people out there watch my videos, and most of you are very intelligent and know much and can share a lot with me. So today I came here to learn, and just to pour my heart out out to you guys, and then 
let me know what you think. It's so sad. It's so sad that people outside the continent don't want to come up. As a human being, whenever you go out or whenever you travel somewhere, you feel happy to come home. You, you would love to connect to your roots. You would love to come home and see where you're coming from. But here is the case people don't want to come home again. I have a friend who just traveled some few months ago. And I said, Charlie, this one here is not, it doesn't look like something you are coming back home. And this friend laughed. I know things are hard here. Things are not being made easy for us to be able to also have the billionaires coming from Africa. From Africa. Things are not in, in structure. The system is not working to the extent that we also can be able to find our way so easily and also become the billionaires and the millionaires from Africa. What is happening? I feel so sad. I, I, I really feel sad. I know there are a lot of people out there who even regret that they are African, but it's never too late. Don't, don't regret. It's still a blessing. God knows why he created you to be a black person. Okay? So, don't regret it. We are still fighting. And we'll fight to the end. And we know one day, the Messiah to carry Africa to where we are supposed to be will surely show up. Thank you, guys. And please, share your thoughts with me. Okay? And I'm getting better. So, when I get better fully, I'll come uploading more videos for you guys i love you guys see you okay